Coach Kyle here from Satva Center for Archery Training, formerly Amherst Archery Academy. I'm here today to show you how to use a bow stringer. So many of you have purchased or seen these training bows. This one happens to be by Farmington Archery. It's the Bolt. It's a 54 inch, 16 pound recurve bow. Uh, great for youngsters. This happens to be a left handed one. Um, so today I want to show you how to use a cup style bow stringer. They have both to de-string and string your bow. So the stringer we'll be using today is this one by Easton. I have one here in a package. This is the Easton uh, Recurve Bow Stringer, cup style bow stringer. And I have one out of the package here that is ready to go. So on a cup style bow stringer, you have two different size cups. You have a larger cup right here seen in this hand and you have a smaller cup right here in this hand and so the the bigger cup goes on bottom so that's how we can remember that piece so there's a mantra I use whenever stringing bows with a cup style stringer and the mantra is this big on bottom and string to string so let's follow that mantra as we walk through de-stringing this bow I'm gonna take the big cup and put it on the bottom limb Okay. How do you know which is the bottom limb? Well, if you're holding the bow the way that you would if you were going to be shooting it, the lower limb or the bottom limb is the one that's pointing towards the ground. If you're not sure which way to hold the bow, if it's not your bow and you're de-stringing it for your child, then right down here the, on the lower limb, there are some numbers that show you what the size of the bow is and the draw weight. So it says 54 for 54 inch and then 16 for 16 pounds of draw. That's the lower limb. The upper limb does not have those numbers on it. So big on bottom, string to string. Big cup is going to go over the bottom limb tip, just like so, okay? And notice that the string, the cord of the bow stringer is lined up with the bow string. So we have big on bottom, string to string. I could do big on bottom, and not have the two strings lined up like so. You see that? And that will not work for stringing your bow. So, big on bottom, string to string. Now, I bring the upper, or the, the small cup up and place it over the upper limb tip. Now notice, the upper limb, or the, the upper cup, the, the small cup, is smaller and allows you to still see and access the string groove in the upper part of the limb. So see that? You can see where the bow string goes around the limb tip. On the bottom, the big cup conceals that string groove so you cannot see that at all. So we're going to be taking off the upper string loop. So now that I have my bow like so, I have the bow string the cord string or the bow stringer and I stand on that I can justify the bow slightly to one side like this and that makes this tip a little bit easier to get to I now pull up from the pivot point of the bow which is right here I pull up there and that makes the bow string go slack see that once the bow string is slack I continue to provide upward pressure so right now I'm pulling up here and I just finagle the string loop off of the limb tip right over here. So once that is off, I relax the bow down and I have successfully de-strung the bow. All right, so once we're there, take this opportunity to tighten up your limb bolts, make sure they're still snug. You want these to be snug. You don't need any tools to tighten up the Farmington bolt, uh, limb bolts, you just do it hand tight. All right, now to restring the bow, this is a great way to store it, but to restring the bow, same thing. Big cup on bottom, string to string. Little cup on top. Little cup leaves the string groove visible. You stand on the bow string or cord and you pull upwards in the pivot point until you can slide the bow string down to get the into the string groove on the limb tip. Now the upper string loop on the top side of the string is usually larger and that allows the string to slide down the bow limb easily. So you wouldn't want to be doing this 
was sliding the lower string loop uh, up on the lower limb because it would get very tight and stretch out the, the string. Okay, so there we have how to use a, bow, a cup style bow stringer. Um, you can get these right from Amherst Archery Academy, Satva Center for Archery Training, and we hope to see you soon. Let us know if you have any questions. Take care.